Hi, Richard Lewald by Energy Wellness Care and Dwayne. We're going to do some energy testing here. And in, in accordance to do that, we're going to give Dwayne a couple of these Q-tips and he's going to put some saliva on it because his saliva will contain his DNA, which is his frequency. Everybody has their own frequency. We can use hair, we can use nails, we can use skin, we can use photographs, anything that contains his energy will have that. Okay, now I'll insert them into my wands, my guns. And once again, if I point them to Dwayne, they stay pointing to him. If I point them to Maria now, it says, no, it's not Dwayne. If I point it to the cameraman, no. But as soon as I bring it back to Dwayne, yes. There you are. <laughs> okay, just take a few steps sideways. No, si sideways. Watch how that's going to follow him. Okay, come on back. So, like every radio station has their own frequency, every person have their own frequency through their DNA. So, okay, now we're going to test his life force, his bioenergy field. Okay, so now we're going to take a measurement of Dwayne's life force his bioenergy fields, as they call it too. And I'm pointing my wands to him, and as long as it stays pointing towards him, I'm in his energy field. As I walk backwards, we can see the size of his energy field. It feels pretty good. And here we are. The wands open up, so I'm in his energy fields while they're still pointing at him. As I slowly move backwards, we're right there, the initial uh, layer of his energy field. Okay, would you mind taking your shoes off, please? What about grounding? So many people talk and practice grounding. Is grounding something that everyone should do? Well, we're living in buildings and we're disconnected from the earth. But in fact, we know there's gravitational, there's magnetic forces, there's all kinds of forces that exist. So when we place our feet on the soil, on grass, connect with the trees, you can see how his life force has increased just simply being connected with nature. We are also nature, so we need to be connected with nature. Just remember to do that. A very big health benefit to take that effect. Okay, so we're going to now test some very important things the language we use, the words we use. What kind of an effect does it have on us? So we bring in nice words. We, words are energy that can help us too. We use bad words, they can drain energy away from us as well. So watch what you think, watch what you say, watch what you do. And it all begins in our thinking, so remember that. So we're gonna pick up the first word. And what's that word? Success. Okay, we all wish success and we should all be successful. Our life should be successful. We're here with a purpose, a meaning, and we can contribute to life in general. So you can see success, nothing wrong with the word success. It's a good word. There's different ways of measuring success. It's not just all about money. So this is how big the energy is with the word success. Go ahead, grab another one. Love. Love is a very powerful word. We need to speak it, we need to really mean it, um, and just practice it. Be a source of love. And, you know, we feel it. And as we emanate love towards everything, others, animals, again, nature, everything we're connected with. To love, is a great thing to do. As you can see, that's an amazing word to use. So don't forget to use the word love and just generate that loving feeling from you. Loving emotions, put it out there to everyone, okay? Create the smiles, happiness, that will make you happy. What's? Thanks. Thanks. Always be thankful, be in appreciation so important because if you're not appreciating you're depreciating you're bringing things down so thank you thank you <laughs> wow. 
Blessings. Blessings, blessings, yes, of course. I always say here that I purpose myself to bless, to heal, and to inspire all people ev everywhere. Yes, we should be doing more of that, blessing others, blessing ourselves, bless our food, be in appreciation. Peace. peace. We all need peace and happiness. Such a powerful word. And being peaceful, okay? We need to be all being very peaceful people. There we are, powerful words to use. Health. Okay, we all need health, okay? Health is your wealth, as we say. Maybe you don't have a lot of money, but when you got your health, you have to get. So now we're going to put all these words together. They are, are marked on stones. And so when we thrive with the energy of these words, it creates a lot of synergy and it can help us. So, let this grow on you. Buy some of these stones. Put some of these words on your fridge, on your car, on your mirror, wherever. Have them in front of you. And then, as we focus on it, the energies are going to be so amazing. They can shift. Language communication is so powerful. So, be empowered um, through how you speak, how you communicate. Yes, so now Maria is going to grab those stones with the words on it and she's going to put some intention in them and give them, yeah, all of them. So as she's putting her intention, that is going to add some amazing energy as well. So when we speak words and we speak them with intention, we're creating additional energy. So, when she's ready, so we can energize things. We can, we can do that to our food even. Put intention, um, bless your food, and the food is even gonna taste better and help you in receiving more nourishment. So when Maria is ready to hand them over, we'll retest all these and we can see how intention, how it is so important, the intention that we put in our lives, in our words, in everything. So we're re really amazing beings. We're powerful beings. And we just need to be more conscious of who we are, what our capacities are, and um, yeah, come alive. You're here alive to live a life and to live it abundantly and that you can contribute during this life with a purpose. Live with a purpose and you'll be happy. Just don't be a consumer. Rely on possessions, money, but we're all together, we're all one. All as people, we are one, we're all connected. We just all play a part. So let your connections be amazing. And as you can see right now, how the energies work when we use great words, beautiful words, empowering words, and then we place intentions in them as well way out here. Thank you, Maria, for putting your intentions into that. Amazing! <laughs>